Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Annalisa from Creative Curious Learning and Living here on YouTube and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you specifically our summer reading plans. I shared a video recently on my channel with our homeschool summer plans and you can see that video up here and I'll have it posted down below in the description box. But I wanted to come on here and give you a more specific look at our summer reading plans and dive into that. If you are new to my channel, I am a homeschool mom to four. I have an eight-year-old, a six-year-old, a three-year-old, and a newborn who is almost three months old now. So for summer reading, I like to challenge my kids to read at least one book a day throughout the summer, but this summer I decided to switch it up because my kids are doing really good with reading but to make it extra fun and challenge them a little bit more and get to playing some of the games that we have that are reading games, I thought it would be fun to do something a little bit different. So last year I challenged my eight year old, he was seven at the time, to read a book a day. We did like 50 to 100 books and we wanted him to do that. We didn't really get through that, but we, challenged him to read as many books as he could through the summer and he earned a Lego like a $24 Lego that really motivated him to read as much as he could and so now we have my six-year-old who is reading as well so he's asked for some number blocks to add to his collection to read so but instead of just reading a book all the time I thought it would be fun to also do you can read a book with mom or you can play a game, a reading game with mom or dad or with your brother, and that can count towards your reading challenge for the summer. So first of all, I'm going to show you our charts. So I picked these charts up from Etsy. So they're just reward charts and you can track it. And so you can, every time you play a game or read a book, you can mark it and I've been putting the dates um, so this is their game chart. When they play a game that is reading themed, they can check that off. And then I picked up this one as well. They love cats. So when they read a book, this is their book tracking chart. They can check it off. And once they get through all of these together, they can get their prize. And they're practicing and so yeah this is their game chart because Minecraft so games so each of my boys have one of these with both of the charts and then my three-year-old really likes to read stories with us and she saw her brothers doing this and she wanted to be included and she's been playing some of the games with us she doesn't know how to read but it is still good for her to hear that and have that read aloud and get excited about reading so I printed her off a chart this one I did at Gabby's Dollhouse because she loves that. So do my boys, but she really loves it. So every time she reads a book with us or plays a game, she can color it in. She colored this in all by herself. And I just wrote, she played a game with us and the date. And then she's going to maybe pick out something from the dollar store or a little doll. And she can be rewarded and excited to start learning and start reading when she starts preschool in the fall and just gets there and just feels included and I love that. So I also picked up some new readers for the boys before I get to the games that I am using for this reading challenge. So I picked up two for each of them and I feel like these could go hand in hand. So for my older one, I picked up I Can Read Comics, Friend Bots, Blink and Block, Make a Wish. And these are pretty easy. I feel like my kindergartner, almost grade one, might not be able to read these yet, but they're definitely ones we can have on hand. So then we picked up the I Can Read Comics, comics, friend bots, blink and block, bug each other. So there's two in the series. And they're just really, really cute inside with pretty simple words, but a few bigger words we haven't seen. And then I picked up these ones for my kindergartner, almost grade one, my six-year-old. And definitely... My older one can read these too because he loves cats, but these will be a little bit easy for him, but I got too many cats and cat days. And this has 
a bunch of stories inside. So super, super cute. And then for the games, these are ones we already had in our homeschool that we've picked up recently over the last year or that we have been gifted. So one that I highly recommend if you do not have it to pick it up, check if it goes on sale for Amazon Prime is the fidget game, Sight Words. It comes with 220 sight words for, from pre-K to grade three. And you get all of the flashcards. It's upside down. You get all of the flashcards. You get four poppets. You could definitely use your own poppets if you had four of the same poppets already in your home and just use your own flashcards. But if you were to go ahead and buy the poppets new, it works out to be the same. And then you get the flashcards with it. Um, and it's fun. There's a dice, you roll, there's different cards that stop you from popping the poppets and some lots and lots of fun. You could also pair this with your own flashcards from your own curriculum. If you use All About Reading or if you use the Good and the Beautiful reading curriculum, if they have flashcards, you could pull that into this for extra practice. I highly recommend this. My boys have been asking to play this over and over again. I want to play the poppet game and I want to read. That's a win. So definitely highly recommend this. I'll have all of the games that I'm talking about linked down below for Amazon Canada. If you want to go ahead and check them out, you can go there and pick some of these up or just look more at them and read more about them. I also picked up this one. From the same company this is word pop so this comes with four fidget toys but these ones are built in to the poppet so the words are actually on it this one is more simple reading it's more it's just three letter words like cat bus hug can lip rat so this is more basic so like for a kindergartner or a preschooler if they are already reading three letter words but definitely fun to include your older kids as well with this, with the younger ones. We haven't played this a ton. We've played it once, but you have to like flip a card, look for the word, sound out the word, and then pop the bubbles to win. So then it's kind of like bingo. The first person to pop all of the words on their card or on their pop it from the cards wins. So just a fun thing to get them revisiting their words and challenging them in a fun way. And then we also have another one before I picked up those ones. I saw this one and this is the same kind of thing, but it's smaller poppets that are only three double sided and simpler words like bug, sun, bus, cut. And it has a lot of interactive flashcards for you. Um, but yeah, the basic words for maybe kindergartners, but still fun to bring out for your older kids. Maybe they can help teach the younger kids. So this is one we're going to be including in our summer reading plans or summer game reading plans, whatever that is called. Um, and to go along with that, we also have this in our homeschool that I picked up for another game. I feel like this is supposed to be for like chess or something, but you can literally use this for anything. Grab a dice and instead of doing four different poppets or two different poppets to switch it up, you can use a dice and flashcards and you can have them get to the middle once they pop all of these and then the three middle ones by rolling the dice and read the word they can be practicing their words and you can also do this for math it's so so cool but that's another video um i also was just looking at this one this is apples to apples junior we have not played this yet but we have it and i was looking at it and it's pretty easy or we could just help them read the words so we might go ahead and pull this out as well and then we have bananagrams which they can definitely be practicing the words and spelling throughout the summer so this is definitely a must-have and something that we are going to go ahead and pull out so and we have used in our homeschool before and then lastly we got this as a gift for christmas and we just recently pulled it out and my boys loved it and they cannot wait to play it again we got Scrabble Junior. We do also have Scrabble, but I have not pulled that out yet. What I love about Scrabble Junior is it has two sides of the board. So it has a blank side where you can build your own words, but it also has 
a board which has words on it. And some of these words are big and my kids haven't even learned how to read them, but they are starting to recognize it and they can see it and they can interact with it. So definitely a fun way to bring in reading. And they're not, how do I explain this? My kids are not super excited about reading. They're good at it, but they don't necessarily wanna go and read yet. So this is a fun way to get them to want to read more challenge them a little bit more on top of books they're definitely going to be reading books we have a ton of books um but this is a fun way to switch it up and to be playing our board games getting them to think in different ways about reading skills and i'm very very excited about it i will have all of the games that i mentioned linked down below in the description box and if you know any reading games that you have used in your homeschool, definitely let me know down below in the comments. I'm curious what other great learning reading games there is out there because my boys want to learn and they love playing games. So that is all for today's video. That is our summer reading plans. And I'm really excited to dive more into it. We've slowly started to do this and then in July and August, we're going to dive more into this and read books and play games and really practice our reading skills throughout the summer. So thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel as I share our homeschool journey, cleaning motivation, motherhood, and decorating and all that comes with that. So yeah, and don't forget to let me know what your favorite reading games are down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.